Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon. If you have not been here before, welcome. If you have been here, of course, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be an exciting one. We're actually going to be diving into a review on the new Makeup Revolution and Emily Noel 83 palette. So this is it right here. It's quite a large palette, as you can see. I'm super excited. I've been using this actually since I received this, so all of last week, and then I did use it on this eye look today. I'm gonna insert some clips for you when I talk about the palette so you can kind of see how everything applied, and I'll kind of tell you my reasoning behind picking such a neutral look. Um, but if you guys are interested in seeing my thoughts on this guy, then just keep watching. All right guys, so as I said, this is what the palette looks like. It's quite a large palette. There's a total of 24 shades in the palette. So the palette did come in a unicart that was very similar to this one. So it was very similar in looks. Um, it basically had the same kind of cover and then on the back it did have a picture of Emily and Noel who is the collaborator on this palette and it also showed all of these shades. So if you wanted to see all the shades, it does show you that on the back of the Unicarton. Um, I will open this up and show you guys this as well. Now this was of course done in collaboration, as I said, with Emily Noel 83 here on YouTube. She has been around for quite a long time here. Um, I think she's very deserving of this collaboration. Um, I always find her so honest in her review. She's very down to earth, very knowledgeable when she gives a review and she actually takes some time to test things out, usually before for giving a review. So I really enjoy that about her. I think she's pretty amazing and I'm glad to see her collabing with an affordable brand like Makeup Revolution, which I really enjoy their stuff. Most of it, I mean, some of it's hit or miss, but I like a lot of it and it's pretty affordable. So these palette, this palette actually is, I'm gonna show you that right there. So that's all these shades in there. As I said, there's 24 shades and there is a mix of shimmers, mattes, and I believe a few um, satins. So it does have a large mirror. I'm trying not to like blind you guys with that mirror, but that's like the large mirror. Um, it does have a nice mix of shades. There's warm tones and neutrals. There's some pops of color. There's purples in there. Um, so there's a little bit of everything in this palette. Um, I, have tried, I have tried every single shade out so far, like every shade <laughs> I have dipped into. So I knew it was a good time for me to hop on and do a review of the palette. Um, now you guys can see I actually did a neutral look today. I will insert a clip of that and just kind of talk about what I use. So just for a brush, you guys will see that I used a Real Techniques brush. I use it all the time. Not sure it was part of like a collection. Not sure if it's still available, but I really enjoy it. So I picked up the shade Dews Paid. Now I will say in the pan, Dews Paid appears more of a brown tone, but it is kind of like an orangey brown tone when it goes on. Definitely pulls more orange on me at least. Um, it blended out super easily. You can see that there. Um, and I find with most of these matte shadows, pretty much all of these matte shadows, they blend out phenomenally. I had no issue with any of the shades that I used in here. I do think the pan sizes are good. They're like a nice, like a normal size pan size. And they do, like I said, like if you dip into them, there's a little bit of kickback in the pan. You can kind of see it here. But it's kind of nice because they pick up a lot of color payoff, but there's not a lot of kick up in the pan, which I enjoy. So these aren't going to be soft shadows like kind of like the Anastasia formula. This is a very different formula than that, but just in comparison, this is definitely more firmly pressed. The next shade I'm going to go into on this clip is the shade Apartment. Um, Apartment is like a really deep kind of chocolate brown. So I go into that shade and I just kind of work that in the outer V of my eye to kind of darken things up. Um, I've tried all of the darker shades in the palettes, the purples, um, the kind of teals, the greens, um, and I had no issue with any of those shades as far as blending them out. Um, I did a few eye looks. I did a green one just the other day that I posted on my Instagram at Shannon Shaw's Beauty if you want to check that out. But you can see in the clip I really had no issues in blending that out. Now moving on more to the shimmer shades because I do want to talk about the shimmer shades. So. One thing that I will say about these shimmer shades that you may find a bit different, um, these shades definitely, I find most of them pick up really well on a brush. So a lot of times shimmers pick up way better on a finger. These can be picked up on the finger, but you don't need to. You can really use a brush if that's your preferred method of applying your shadows and they apply well. Um, you can wet your brush. You don't necessarily have to though, but if you want a little extra oomph, you can do that. Um, one thing I will say if you are using a wet brush, I do find some of the shades kind of 
kind of get that hard pan almost feel to them. I noticed that with Eve, Rose, and Piazza, these two shades right here, they kind of got that hard film on it, but they still apply okay, so I'm not sure if that's just something with kind of the spray that I used. Um, but I did notice that and I wanted to mention it just in case you are going with a wet brush. I definitely don't think you need to though. You can see in the clip that these applied pretty well. I went in with the shade Top Story and then the red shade I went in on the outer part of the eye was called Good Vibes. Um, both of those applied pretty well. I could use my finger or a brush as you've seen in the clips as well and they both applied really, really easily. On the lower part of my eyes, I didn't show that clip in here but I just went in with... A combination of the shades Dews Paid, which I used um, in my crease, and the shade Apartment. And then I also went in with the shade Family, this kind of deep purple shade. And then I kind of blended that out with the shade Dews Paid again and a little bit of Laugh Cry. So I didn't show that in the video clip, but that's what I used on my lower lash line in case you are wondering. Um, my experience with this palette has been so good. Like I said, I think the mattes blend perfectly. They have tons of pigment on them. I had no issue, you could see, with picking up any kind of pigment. You didn't really have to build them up. Now, I go in pretty heavy-handed with shadows because I'm used to that. You don't have to do that, though. You can just tap, tap a little bit off your brush and just kind of build up the color if you want to do that as well. It's really up to you. But I used all the dark shades, and I'm really impressed with them because a lot of times with dark shades, I have such a hard time blending them out. I did it with this palette, so that's a plus for me. Um, and I think the shimmers are really pretty. I don't think they're as pizzazzy as some other palettes I own. Um, I mentioned Anastasia before, um, let's say the Norvina palette. Those glitter kind of, not even glitter, but kind of shimmer shades are really punchy. Um, really wet looking and I find those can be applied with a brush or finger as well but those are really glitzy. These ones aren't as glitzy. Some of them are more of a satin kind of finish or like they have that glimmer in them as you can see what I'm wearing today but it's not as punchy. Now as I said you can spray a little bit of Fix Plus or something on your brush if you want to build that up a little bit more but I just thought I'd let you know that if you're looking for that really glitzy kind of look with your shimmers that doesn't necessarily happen with this palette. But I do like it overall. I like the layout of the palette. I like all the colors that are included. I will say that I sometimes get a little bit lost in what to do with the palette because there's so many options. It's such a big palette. Like I said, it's 24 shades and you can get overwhelmed pretty easily. But I do think if you are someone that's looking to add to your collection and get something really affordable, I mean, this, like I said, this is only $20 US. This is a great deal. The shadows perform well. It's inexpensive, great to add to your collection. I like the packaging. I like that it has a huge mirror. Um, those are all things that I enjoy. So overall, I do think if you wanted to pick this up, it would definitely be worth it. All right guys, so that is actually going to do it for this video today. So that was kind of my review on the Emily Noel and Makeup Revolution palette. Love the palette. I've been playing with it, like I said, the last week. I've used all the shades, like I said in the previous clip, and I just, I love it. I think it's a great palette. I would highly, highly recommend you picking it up if you do get a chance or if you're in the need for a bigger palette like that. Um, I can't speak on the Needs palette because I don't have that one, but that's the smaller palette, kind of face palette she created. So that one is 15, and that is also on the Makeup Revolution site. I will post both down below just if you want to pick them up. Yeah, but I think that's going to do it for this video. I hope you did, Mom my hair too much. I don't have it finished, but you know, we're, we're going to go with the flow. This is just like air dried. Yeah. So I need to go off camera and do that, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit the notification bell. If you don't want to miss out on any future videos of mine, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.